Welcome to the demo video of the MolViz project from the University of Toronto. My name is Christian Muse, and I'll be showing you a bit of the work done over the last few months with Professor Ryan Lillian on a new way of interacting with computers. We know that the Wiimote can be used for a wide range of innovative user input because of its high degree of freedom. We have also seen the system can be flipped to provide head tracking. This is done by placing infrared emitters on the subject and using the Wiimote as a camera to detect the subject's location. Projects of this form have grown substantial popularity after Johnny Lee Chung of Carnegie Mellon showed the potential this technique has. We have replicated this form of input and have integrated it with the molecular visualization program PyMol. We control the program in such a way to give the user a functional experience, a realistic experience, and any area in between. The first example shown here is simply eight spheres arranged in a cube shape to test the interface. Next we examine a slightly more complex example. This allows us to have better depth cues because of the foreground and background interacting with each other as we move around the screen. Looking at a drug complex, we can see how this form of input can provide a useful experience to biologists. Allowing the user to physically examine the molecule from different angles provides a much better interaction and interpretation of the molecular data. Finally, for the IR form of input, we see here an alpha helix. Since we don't have a steady cam at our disposal, much of the effect is lost during the filming. While the infrared tracking from the Wemo provides an excellent user experience, we would like to go one step further. Other forms of input can be used for head tracking and one that we focused on was using existing computational vision technologies to track the user's face on a built-in EyeSight webcam that is provided with all modern Apple computers. As you can see, there's lots of opportunity for error while using head tracking of this form. This was a strong consideration when we were developing the software for this form of input. Here we demonstrate how a user could interact with PyMole. Using only head tracking, the user could move around in 3D space and view the molecule from different angles and points of view. This is not limited to small screens or laptop monitors. It can be used on full-scale projections. Shown here is how the molecule would behave if we did not take into account the air that was coming in for the head tracking. In contrast, this is what it looks like smoothed out. The difference is even more drastic in person. We can also see what the drug complex looks like when controlled with the head tracking. Keep in mind that no additional gear is used for this experiment. The only input is from the webcam built into the monitor itself. Again we see what the helix would look like, but this time without the aid of infrared sensors. One functional technique that was added was the use of accelerated rotation. This allows the user to see any angle of the molecule by moving only a limited amount of space to the left, right, up, or down. Here we show how a user might use our software with the MacBook's built-in webcam. Again, the benefit of this system has to be the cost. Anybody with a MacBook already has all of the equipment they need. Wiimote and head tracking are just some of the ideas we are toying with. Another is the use of an IR filter on the webcam. This can be achieved by having an unexposed 35mm film developed. It will come back looking semi-transparent, but four layers of it is just enough to block out almost all natural light and allow only infrared through. Another technique we are considering is to use a cheap peephole lens on the webcam to increase the field of view. This would have a dramatic impact on changing the field of view from about 50 degrees to a full 180 degrees side to side. Thanks for watching the MolViz project demo and stay tuned for more videos to come. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate in contacting us. Cheers!